Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 406. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news this week. And let's not dilly-dally and hop right into it. So, first news is, new cover for Equestria Girls Spring Sunset Holidays. So, this is a DVD pack, uh, including three of the specials. Uh, those specials are the Holiday Unwrap, that is involving the girls in short stories of Christmas or something like that, or uh, heartwarming, if uh, heartwarming. And the other one is Sunset's backstage pass. This is the one where Sunset was reliving the same day over and over and over again. And the other one is Spring Breakdown. Uh, Spring Breakdown is the one where the girls are on a cruise ship, and Rainbow Dash just wants things to happen like magical things to happen while everybody just wants to take five and rest but anywho uh, it seems that Amazon UK has listed this to be coming out in March 30th uh, only blue only, sorry, only DVDs are available and got no idea if Blu-rays are going to be there but still um the DVDs are still okay they're not that bad and at least you're supporting the studio and the crew by buying it if you're interested uh, pricing here is I'm not 100% sure so I'm gonna guess about oh, $10 or £10 so yeah uh, this title will be released on March 30th so that's gonna be cool uh, we're gonna have a complete I won't say complete um, we're gonna have a place to watch this officially um, before this it was on the Discovery family and after that it was cut into pieces on and place it on YouTube that watching that is also annoying in its own right because you need to save the playlist watch it watch the credits continue on blah 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 so at least this way you'll have a good way to watch your favorite scenes or favorite episodes. So let's move on to the next one. And the next one is Dream Boom in top 10 TV girl bands from Miss Mojo. So um, Miss Mojo, for you guys who have no idea what, who, what or who Miss Mojo is, Miss Mojo is a sister site to watchmojo.com. Uh, what Mojo or... <laughs> Sorry, um, what what Mojo does is they do top ten lists. Uh, usually, it's based on whatever the topic of the day is. And Miss Mojo is their sister site where they focus mainly on um, girl stuff. It could be uh, My Little Pony, Barbie, or even Winx, or you know, whatever it is. So Miss Mojo caters to that segment of the audience but uh, recently they did a top 10 of top 10 <laughs> girl band or tv girl bands one of the criteria they did is uh, they have to be on the silver the tv screen and whatnot blah 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 so i'm just gonna cut through cut to the point and the rain booms are in number five right in the middle top five so what they say about the Rainboom is that uh, how do I put this? They just say that they're cool and awesome, and when they play, they uh, rock out with pony powers and whatnot. And yeah, that's really awesome. But one of the few things that I noticed that they kind of keep showing is the Crystal Prep girls. Uh, one could mistake them for being part of the Rainbooms. So, it's a minor thing, not that serious, but it's fun. It's fun to watch, and the girls getting prop by showing them in the top five is awesome. Uh, with that, people might get curious and try to watch the show and discover something awesome. So, yay! Awesomeness. So, let's move on to the last news of the, what you call this, week. Yes. So... Uh, interesting pony life marketing material sent out to toy reviewers so 
as time goes on, we're gonna get Pony Life up on the screen. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be on the TV screen from the Discovery or on the YouTube screen on your monitor or phone. So that's going to be there. So anywho, mm, it seems that the good people at the Hasbro marketing department sent out this little pamphlet for, um, you know, to review stuff. Um, I haven't read through this and I, I'm guessing this is just the blurb to read out and stuff um, from what I can tell by just skimming through everything here. They're just going to say that, um, yo guys, uh, we know you like the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic lineup, but here's something new for you. We have the My Little Pony Pony Life, yo. Um, this is going to be more cuter, more awesome, uh, and it's going to click with the kids, yo. <laughs> um, and they say stuff like, oh, we got five new products to begin with. Uh, this is going to be really fun. Um, we got what? A magical main rarity figure. We got the Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Potion Princess. You like those two, right? I w the Phantom Reader likes those two, and so on. Then, uh, so on, so on, and so on. And... Um, one of the few things is um, stay tuned for My Little Pony Pony Life launching 2020 with all new content premiering on the Discovery family. Ah, okay. That's one puzzle solved. So it will be on Discovery Family and Discovery Family Go. That's their mobile app to watch the show. Uh, let's see. And shots from content on the My Little Pony YouTube channel. Well, that covers everything, doesn't it? So... Uh, con, concert, eh? concert or uh, centered around Sugar Cube Corner, Pony Life looks at the fun side of friendship with hilarious slice of life stories that modern kids can relate to. <sighs> Sincerely, Hasbro, the My Little Pony team. Yay! That last line scares me a bit. When they say stuff like stories that modern kids can relate to what does that even mean <laughs> um i'm guessing here that you me we've watched the show we know enough to know that my little pony friendship is magic is a really relatable show okay some aspects of magic's put aside but still is it still a relatable show where you Try to be a good person, learn from your mistakes, and be the best that you can. So, when modern kids can relate to art, are, are they going to do the floss or something like that? I mean, man, that is worrying. But I'm not going to judge. I'm sure that the team that created Pony Life are going to do great. Because the voice actors are coming back. Andrea Lipman, Tara Strong, Tabitha St. Germain, Ashley Ball, and I think Kathy Westluck are there. Yeah, I've seen Spike before, yeah. So they're going to reprise their role, so that's awesome. And you know what? I'm just going to say that it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Uh, let's just hope that they don't do something to destroy their brand. I'm sure that they're not that dumb. So anywho, um, going on the line, they say they have like what? Uh, yeah, it's, they just go and blurb on what the toys are going to be. Like they mentioned like My Little Pony Magical Main Rarity figure. So uh, it's going to be great for ages 3 and Above approximately retail price, about $20 available in winter 2019. So that thing is already out. So yeah, it, it goes on explaining what the thing is, what the stuff is. I mean, this is just line reads for reviewers to check out and... How do I put this? Yeah, for reviewers to check out and read. Like if 
their interest and whatnot, like what I just did. Yeah. So that is the news for this week. Yes. So this week has been pretty okay. Nothing too serious going around. So anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? And my week has been rather dull. Um, I did watch a movie. Yes. And said movie is Onwards. This is the Disney Pixar movie involving mythical creatures like elves, goblins, unicorns, and so on. Um, the synopsis for the movie is that there's this world where magic is prevalent and controlling it is hard until technology comes into the fray. Then nobody really knows about magics. So uh, the story here is about a, <laughs> a heartwarming story about a kid who is socially awkward and haven't met his dad because his dad passed away before he got a chance to meet with him. So he and his brother go on an adventure to kind of meet up with his dad because they discover a magic wand that their father passed down to them on their 16th birthday whatever it is so yeah I, I would say go watch it and fun thing here is that the actors for the movie is Tom Holland who played Peter Parker in Spider-Man and Chris Pratt who plays Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy so that is quite a combination and <laughs> I'm noticing a few things here where Disney is really using their talents that they have so in my book that's an A plus but for the movie itself I say it was a lot of fun and here's the thing I watch it in the 4D experience where the chair moves and whatnot, and it was kind of fun. Would I say I would? <laughs> would I say would I go on it again? Um, probably with somebody who hasn't experienced it because it's a lot of fun. Uh, I had a friend who write with me on onwards, and he hasn't watched in 4D before and in the trailer just promoting the thing um, he got a big huge shock and well let's just say that hilarity ensues and a few thing is that good thing that there's lockers to put our bags and whatnot and I told the friend don't buy anything what you call this no how do I put this don't buy any hot dogs. Don't buy any nacho chips and whatnot. Popcorns are good because they're kind of dry. Um, don't buy hot drinks. And I think the movie itself tells the audience hot drinks are not allowed. And you're probably wondering what kind of person drinks hot drinks to a theater. You're supposed to drink soda pops and stuff. And true, but sometimes people want to drink what they want to drink. So, eh. Um, overall, it was a fun movie. I would say go watch it if you have the time. And yeah, uh, be prepared to get your heartstrings tug. I want to. <laughs> it wasn't very really emotional, but it didn't really get me crying, to say the least. But anywho, that was a fun experience. Yay. And other than that, Mm, haven't been doing much been really busy with work and whatnot and talking about work i should really start editing on the review and discussion podcast for next week or this week wherever this comes out yes so yeah uh anywho, let's move on to the end so if you have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the ambitious gmail.com 
You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also <laughs> and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Uh, Stitch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, if you want, you can subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, The Terra, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than the comics, uh, the ponies mostly. And that's video games, anime, and cartoons, and so on. So yay, uh, we, we do a lot. We do a lot. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at... Mm, sorry. Oh, yes. Uh, you can... <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Amy, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master Flag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.